Start the new year right and rise above 2020 with the standing table from FlexiSpot. FlexiSpot standing tables are the perfect addition to your study environment or workspace at home. I personally love how much legroom I have and the large desk makes it easy to keep everything I need close by without feeling claustrophobic. It helps me stay focused on what I need to do. And it's not just me saying this. In fact, a 2016 study from Texas A&M University showed that standing desks help improve productivity by over 50%. Not only that, but switching between standing and sitting has been proven to help circulation in your body and reduce tension in your spine and neck so you can stay productive and healthy. With the long hours we spend sitting at home, getting a standing table now makes more sense than ever. There's a wide variety of customization available to suit your needs and budget. You can even add a foot hammock. They offer a very competitive price to most standing tables in their market. They offer free shipping and returns, financing options, and overall great quality products for the price. Scholarships are a great way to earn money towards paying off your college tuition and fees. This video will cover tips and strategies that will help you find more scholarships to apply to and successfully secure more money to pay off for your education. Okay, the first and best piece of advice that I can give is just to apply for any scholarship you can come across. Um, there might be limitations like the scholarship might just only apply for students who fall under certain income brackets or who have certain career interests but as long as you're eligible you should apply because just like for colleges there's always a chance you can get it some of the bigger scholarships like the gates scholarship or the jack kent cook the jack kent cook scholarship um, can be more competitive than getting into harvard like they have like less than one percent acceptance rate but there are students who don't get into harvard and also get the scholarship so like there's always a chance it's there's no correlation between getting admitted into one thing versus getting into admit, getting admitted into another. So think of scholarships as just like another chance factor and always take that chance. And even if you don't actually get the scholarship itself, even moving on to the semifinalist and finalist stage for some of these more competitive scholarships will be really good just for like resume stuffers. And there are plenty of other smaller scholarships that um, are far more accepting and generous and don't skimp out on the scholarships that um, that only give it like five hundred dollars, even though five hundred sounds like even though five hundred sounds not that much compared to like ten thousand, twenty thousand, it still adds up. You're a more likely to get accepted for the five hundred dollars, and b five hundred dollars is five hundred dollars. If you apply for enough scholarships, it adds up really quickly. That being said, um, also be smart about how much you take on. Sometimes a scholarship might ask you to complete like a project or create a novel um, for a reward that's like a thousand dollars, which you could probably make that much money just working with the amount of time and effort you could put into like something like that. So be smart about being cost and time effective. Another piece of advice is to find scholarships about you. Like I already mentioned this before, but um, there are scholarships uh, specifically for categories of students. Like there's race, gender, career interest. Um, those are like the most common ones I can think of. When you Google scholarships or look them up, try adding keywords pertaining to you specifically. So this way you can filter out scholarships that don't apply to you and find ones that are probably easier to get because they're more they more pertain to who you are as a person. And obviously another one, um, start early. Just like normal college applications, scholarship applications are seasonal. This means that you have to know when it opens every year and also means you can reapply for a scholarship if um, if you still meet the eligib el eligibility requirements. So even if you get rejected from a scholarship one year, you could still apply the next and get it then. Or you still might have four more years to try applying and get the scholarship. And some scholarship applications actually open before college applications. Some of them open as early as like September or August. It's always better to be prepared and start your search early. And like I said, some scholarships are actually very competitive and can help pad your resume. Getting a scholarship or like moving towards the final stage of a scholarship can actually help you get into colleges. So they should be part of your regular search for like honors and awards in high school. Now, how to find the scholarships themselves. There's a few ways you can go about this. Um, the most obvious is like Googling uh, scholarships for high school students or something. This is good for finding some of the bigger, more well-known scholarships, but it's hard to narrow down your options. One way that you can find scholarships is with scholarship searching websites. Um, one of my favorites is College Greenlight. It's meant for first gen and underrepresented students, but it's still a great it's still a great search it's still a great search tool regardless. Um, you can set up your profile and add your biographical as well as academic information, and and like I said previously, how. Um, scholarships like filter out students by categories, the search engine will do that for you already. It will filter out scholarships that don't apply to you and give you tons of other ones that you can do. And it's super convenient because it will tell you like how much competition there is for a certain scholarship or like how much work you have to put into the application. So it's um, very organized and it's a great place to get started with your search. And there's a bunch of other scholarship search engines out there. There's um, FastWeb, 
it hosts more than 1.5 million scholarships. And just like College Greenlight, it'll um, have you set up a profile and then it'll just like filter out the ones that are meant for you. Niche.com also has a scholarship search tab, scholarships.com. Sally May is another website that has a scholarship search tab. There's Scholarship Monkey. There's also CapEx. There's also Peterson's is another good website. And even like the US Labor Department, they have a, they have a, a free search tool. And there's other websites like even like College Board and Chegg, they have scholarships available. The College Board ones are kind of, um, what do you call it? Lottery ticket, it's just by chance, but like I said, always take the chance, so. And most of the information about scholarships is actually like available for you, you could just look for it. It's not that hard to find information about it. A lot of the scholarships that I found out about were actually um, just by me asking my upperclassmen friends. I highly recommend getting advice from your senior friends when you're a junior. Usually try aiming for the time like after winter break, and before they get their decisions, because that's when they're like still thinking about college and still like, oh, I'm stressed out about college. And they're like willing to talk to you about it because they have, they have free time the second semester. The $5,000 scholarship that I was talking about in the thumbnail that I used for clickbait, um, that was actually from my mom. <laughs> she she read about it in a Korean local newspaper. Like they were advertising this $5,000 scholarship from OTEFE, some random foundation. And they're like, oh, apply for this scholarship. And it's like, you can find scholarships like that at your church, you can ask a volunteer groups you're in, you can ask your town hall, ask your school counselors. Literally, if you just ask and you look for scholarship opportunities, they're probably there. Okay, last section, I'm just going to be listing a bunch of scholarships, probably like the most prestigious to more niche um, that I can think of. Some of these deadlines might have passed or you might not have time to get the application materials ready, um, but don't worry about it. There's plenty of other chances and also chances in the future, like there's ones that you can apply to even in college even as um, an undergraduate. So don't worry too much if you feel like you missed out on on this stuff. Number one, the Gates Scholarship, founded by Bill Gates himself. It's a highly selective last dollar scholarship, which means they pay for everything. And the catch is that it's only for outstanding minority high school seniors from low income households. Um, only 300 students a year are selected. And you have to pass like the semi-finalist, finalist interview stage to get uh, selected for the last dollar scholarship. This one opens in July and closes in September of your senior year. You have to have good academic standing and a minimum 3.3 GPA. Next one is Jack Ken Cook scholarship. You can receive up to 40,000 a year. But the thing is, even if it sounds like 40,000 a year, you're not gonna get paid 40,000. It's just like, so let's say like your total expenses of college come out to like 10,000 a year. They're only gonna pay that 10,000 and they're not gonna just give you 40,000. Again, this is for high achieving high school students with um, financial need, but they actually accept students whose family makes an income up to like 95,000 a year. So if you meet, if you're close to that bracket or you meet that bracket, then you should probably try applying and other qualifications you need to meet. You have to have a 3.5 GPA and the scholarship is very, very competitive. In 2020, there were 112 recipients and over 5,300 applicants. The next one is the HSF Hispanic scholarship fund. This scholarship is only for students of Hispanic heritage. This actually applies to high school and undergrad and graduate students. So high school, you can have minimum 3.0 GPA. Undergrad and grad, you can have a minimum of 2.5. This can apply to um, US citizens, permanent legal residents, DACA or eligible non-citizens. They're all eligible to apply. You can create a profile in hsf.net to get started and awards can range from 500 to $5,000. And the last one I'm gonna talk about is the Coca-Cola scholarship. This is an achievement-based scholarship. So this is merit-based, not financial need-based. The scholarship focuses more around um, demonstrated leadership and service, not like academic performance and 150 students are selected for a 20,000 150 students are selected for a 20,000 award every year. You must have a minimum 3.0 GPA and be a current high school senior. The application opens in August and closes in September. And I'll just be listing a bunch of other scholarships cuz I'm getting tired of talking. Um
did it from the back. I put her help up, up her closer. Go. She's like, thanks, where have you been, honey? What it look like, bitch, getting this money? Buying more clothes. I look nice, right? You be in that fake shit, and I've seen yours twice. Your shoes, you weave in your purse. If you're bad, believe that I'm worse. You be online doing mad research, trying to cop some shit you see me in. Here are some you should definitely apply to. First up is the Coca-Cola Scholarship. It's a four-year scholarship that gives you $40,000. They also fly you out to the Coca-Cola headquarters in Atlanta, where you meet 150 other student leaders. Next up is the GE Reagan Scholarship, which also gives you $40,000. They'll also fly you out to California for a weekend at the Ronald Reagan Library. The Bank of America Student Leader Program is an eight-week summer internship at a nonprofit. They also fly you out to Washington, D.C. for one week. The Jackie Robinson Scholarship gives you $25,000. Every year you're in college, they fly you to New York for the Mentoring and Leadership Conference. And during your freshman year of college, they take you to Tanzania. Last but not least is the Ron Brown Scholarship, which gives you $40,000.